I'm about as real as they come. All my beats tailored by Joe. Digital. Maserati, Rick, and Detroit. Beat. Convertible, bird in Miami. Yo. Graduated summer cum laude. Strip club made a tsunami. Black. Carlton Hines with the ball game. Black. Rayful Edmonds with the snowflakes. No. Craig Pettis in the M Town. Black. Sal Magluta with the boat game. <laughs> Falcone with the cocaine. Black. Like Freeway Ricky with the plug game. Black. Like Monster Cody in South Central. Black. Larry Davis from Close Green. I'm Nate Hill II. Nate Hill son. A lot of people look at my dad as solely a drug dealer. But he was so much more than that. He was a father, he was an entrepreneur, he was a humanitarian. Right now he's serving a life sentence in prison, but before that, he started in trucking. From trucking, he moved to a bus company. From a bus company, he used that bus company for his record label. And from there, he went to Africa where he started an import-export business, and later on, he started a gold and jewelry store. But he was a very prominent and successful businessman while he was over in Africa, and he did a lot to help them while he was there. And I feel as though when people just label him as a criminal, it's downgrading him or degrading him because he was so much more I'm than here, that. and I'm from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I'm the art fans, you know what I'm saying? Is it like any truth to the rumor that like he like Carly Red's daughter is one of your brothers or sisters? You know what, man? I'm 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 gonna tell you the truth about that. I'm gonna tell you the truth. She was married to my my cousin Rodney, right? Uh -huh. But my father saw my father met her first. You know what I'm saying? And I don't I don't you know I don't really know like of course he didn't take me there and what. He was doing, I, my daddy was with a lot of women, so I can't tell you. I know he, I, I'm sure I got brothers and sisters in Africa, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's stuck and moved, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's a rolling stone. I, I honestly, yeah, tell you the truth, I honestly don't know, man. And, like, if if she, if they hear this interview, like, I want them to know, like, hey, I, I love all my brothers and sisters. If she my sister, come, come on, let's, hey, come on, be my sister. And then, uh, oh, I shot a movie in Chicago. Yo, yo, we back. It's your boy, Pop a Lot. Mob ties. We on our way to Illinois with it. And you know we can't go to Illinois without stopping in the shot. So everybody from Illinois, get in the comment box. And if you from the shot or in the shot, definitely get in the comment box. Rep your section. Rep your city. Rep your block. However y'all want to do it. Now... We are going to be covering a guy whose story has been undertold 
some of you probably never heard of him. And the guy that we're talking about is going to be a gentleman by the name of Nate Hill. And Nate Hill was a huge dog in Chicago in the 1980s and in the 1990s. I want to say that he got his start in the game. He was actually into race car driving. And by all accounts from my coverage and my research, that's what actually led him to getting into the drug game because I don't know how cultured y'all are, but to be an independent race car driver that takes large quantities of cash. According to the government, Hill's operation bought multi-kilogram quantities of cocaine from California to Chicago in cars, secret compartments, a customized tour bus, commercial airliners, Learjets. At his trial, he would go on to admit that he sold cocaine in the early 90s, but he also insisted that both the government and the street gangs refused to believe that he gotten out of the drug business. And one of the two gangs that he was accused of supplying thought that he relo relocated to avoid paying them street tax and they put a hit out on him and he ended up being shot in the back and in the leg. Authorities also allege at the end of his reign in 1995, he went on to he went on a more than $2 million shopping spree where he purchased an eight feet aircraft, a 73 foot yacht, a luxury speedboat, a house near Concookie with an indoor pool and a private lake access. That same year, they are gonna accuse him of investing more than $700,000 in drug profits to finance a film by the name of Reasons that starred the late Bernie Mac, Lisa Ray, who we all know and love, MC8, and that movie was loosely based on his life, according to the authorities. That same year, in April of 1995, the Aslip Police Department, along with the Drug Enforcement Administration, found $2.8 million concealed in the trunk of an automobile at an Aslip storage unit where Hill allegedly stashed large sums of drug profits. They also alleged that he would go on to start a record label by the name of Pocket Town Records, a subsidiary of Job Records that featured a group by the name of Nothing Nice, which has songs that were featured on three movie soundtracks, Down For Whatever, which was on a low down Dirty Shame that starred Damon Wayans. Wandering Eyes, which appeared on a soundtrack for Sister Act 2 that starred Whoopi Goldberg, and a song titled In My Nature, which appeared on Ghost in the Machine. Their final single, Froggy Style, released in 1995 and gave them their highest chart topping appearance, peaking at 63 on the Hot 100. At his trial, Hill would go on to say, if the government had offered me five years in prison, I would have taken it, but they want to make an example out of me, Hill said while he was representing himself. Now, Nate Hill fled the country when he was indicted in early 1996, first going to Mexico and eventually to Africa. During Hill's time on the run, he was named one of the top 15 most wanted fugitives sought by the U.S. Marshal Service, and he was eventually arrested in early of 1998 in Guinea, West Africa, where he was operating a large-scale coffee business, selling tons of coffee to different countries. It's said that he was also trying to set up fruit trade in West Africa. At Hill's trial, they would charge him with running a continuing criminal enterprise he was also charged with two murders and three shootings total. They allege that he ordered the killing of two men he suspected of plotting to kidnap him. One of the men survived the shooting despite being shot in the head multiple times. 
on May 22nd, 1999. A seven woman, five man jury deliberated for over four days before convicting Hill on seven counts of narcotic conspiracy, tax fraud, money laundering, and operating the CCE or the almighty 848. He was acquitted on one count of money laundering and the jury was unable to reach a verdict on one of the drug counts. He was eventually sentenced to life in prison. Then we get to the kicker. You know it's always one. Now Nate Hill, in the midst of his willing and dealing, came across Carly Red, the loving hip hop star, who actually was dating a family member of his, but she would go on to have a baby by him. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitter and Instagram, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. We gonna be back with more of this real trill spill. And y'all already know what it is. Mob, 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 ties. <laughs>